Hello, and welcome to the evil lair, where you learn how to pencils and sometimes a build, and uh, defeat the good guys with lots of evils and arrows. Welcome, Reaper Mini fans. Today we have Baba Yaga's house. This is a Bones Black miniature and is going to be a nice simple paint. Let me give you a 360 of the house. Um, I have got a few problems with the house and that is the legs. Um, I have had the house standing for a few months now and the house was originally nice and straight and as you can see the legs are warping and the house is slowly going downhill. Now there's not much I can really do about that apart from uh, cutting the legs off and having them separate or supporting the house in another way. Um, so today I'm just going to be painting the whole house and the legs and in the future if it gets worse I will cut the legs off and make them a separate um, item. Um, hopefully it will be okay though. Um, there's quite a lot of gaps on this, these, this miniature. Um, we've got gaps all over the rooftop here. Um, I have to fill in those gaps there. All along the joints. Um, these black minis, they've done the factory and stuck together um, and it's not the best, I don't think, um, the way they are put together. Um, it's almost like a rush job. Uh, you see a huge gap going on in the middle there. I mean, once they're all filled in with my Vileco potty, there will be, there's not an issue. It's all, it's, it, looks, it looks perfect. Um, but I would hope to see a, a better uh, fix in the future for these miniatures, especially when you're paying a premium for a retail price. Um, but other than that, um, it's a lovely miniature, um, and we'll get this one painted up today. It's all wood effect, so it really is just a, um, a, f a few different uh, tones of brown and dry brushing, and it'll be a job done. So it is quite a simple paint. Um, because it's uh, bones black, I should be able to spray paint this with a rattle can primer. So I will spray paint it with a dark brown first. Um, and I'll come back once the primer is on and we'll go from there. And there we are. So all the primer coat is on. I used a rattle can primer. It seems that these Bones Black Minis are really working well with uh, primer paint from the aerosol cans. Um, I haven't had any issues with any miniatures so far with the Bones Black. So I can recommend using the spray paints from Army Painter and I've tried Citadel too and both work perfectly so far. Now. I'm going to try a few more miniatures before I recommend it at 100% because I don't want to make any mistakes. But um, at the moment, so far, everything has dried perfectly and has given a fantastic coverage from our spray paint. So what I need to do now is I will be covering the whole miniature in a brown ink wash. Once the brown ink wash is dry, I will come back and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with the rest of the miniature. It's just a case of dry brushing, heavy dry brushing all over just to give a very old weathered wood effect to the building. And that's all we need to do with this miniature then so far. Ah, the brown ink wash is dried. Now we're going to go straight into the dry brushing. I have Lone Star Leather and I have Graveyard Bone from MSP Paints. What we're going to do is we're going to get those on with a nice big dry brush and we're gonna get the whole mini done so what we're going to do is straight on to the whole miniature get that paint on there super fast and easy this is and it will look fantastic so what we want to do is get a nice coat of the Lone Star leather 
all over the main areas of the miniature. The tiles and the wood, because the tiles are wood as well. So the whole miniature is going to have the same effect. Right, let's see if I can get this better organised. I've got to try and hold the miniature, take the paint off the paintbrush, and work at the same time. There we are, that's the boy. I can use my palm to hold the paint. There we are. So going over the whole thing. Don't be shy. Get the paint on there. We're going against the tiles again, as always. Like the dragon scales, always going against. So you're highlighting the edges of all the tiles. Going around all the highest areas. And because we're using such a big dry brush, it's taken us a couple of minutes and we get the whole thing done. We just want an old wood effect. Nice look to the building. So using the browns and the dark ink wash, that sets us off perfectly. And that what now all we're doing is we are highlighting the wood areas and making them look old. Hold the miniature like this. It works out easier for me to hold it, maybe. Or oh, this is quite an awkward miniature. The paint. Um, there, no, that's not gonna work. I'll try and hold it like this. There we are. Okay, so what what I'm gonna do now is I'm mixing in some skeleton bone, and it's gonna be my first proper highlight for the miniature. And this will really start to bring out the details of the whole mini. Just gently at first. There we are. Just going over the whole miniature. We're going against all the wood, all the tiles. We're going in one direction. We're going up. Go up. Keep your brush going up. Don't go down. Don't go down. Just keep the brush going up. And it's bringing out some lovely colours now. There we go. Up, 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 up. See? There you go. Just keep your brush going upwards. That's all you need to do on this miniature. And what's happening is the wood is starting to look worn. It's starting to look aged starting to look manky and that's what we want we want this to look like an old manky wooden building so doing this effect works perfectly well So that's our first layer going around the building. Like so. Let's see if we can get some better picture there. Let's go over the door. There you go. Now I'm going back into the graveyard bone. 
a little tiny bit less with the brown. Now we're going back again. Too much. Back again. That's it. Just going over the high spots. There we are. It's the worn areas. It's all the edges. Like so. Just the edges of the wood. Edges of the wood. is we need to bring in some green. Wood always has some green effects. So I'm going to quickly come back and get some green. I'll need to stop the video for now, get the green, and then I'll come straight back and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, I've got some turf green from MSP. Now, I just need to add this to around the wood. Um, so what I'm doing is I am going straight in with the green first taking off the paint and again we're going from the bottom up and just around the edges there very lightly and this has just given us a little bit of colour and it gives you that mouldy wood effect so we're not going too far up just around the miniature up the sides lightness to there. Let's take that off. There we go. Just a bit more colour. Just around the bottom. Now a little bit on the roof. Just a tiny touch here and there. It's like little mold patches going around the place. Nothing nothing over the top. Just giving a hint of green to the building. let this dry then I'm going to go over the whole building again with a brown ink wash this will tone down take away the chalkiness and it will blend everything in and give very nice shadows once that ink wash is dry I will then reapply a very light highlight dry brushing around the edges um, I also add in the little details like um, the door hinges and the chimney pot which will be painted in a metal but that is all that really needs to be done the the chicken feet i will do with a chicken feet color yellow <laughs> and i'll come back and i'll show you what it is once i've finished the miniature so i'll be back and i'll show you the finished effect and if there's anything that um, i need to show you or i think i need to show you then i'll come back and show you that too here we have the finished house. I've put it on a little bit of blue tack just to level it out a little bit. And what I might do in the future is I might add it to a nice base and make a rock formation uh, which will keep the miniature level. But um, we'll see what happens in the future. Um, so here we are. Um, I painted in the windows black on the inside. And we have the chimney copper and I used some black ink wash effects to make that look old and weathered 
and you can see all the nice greens going on in the woods. I actually um, would use this miniature as scenery. I'd cut the little legs off and I think it would make a nice little scenery. And I'm hoping Reaper Miniatures in one of their Kickstarters in the future will start making um, houses. I mean, a, a tavern, blacksmith. I mean, all these things are possible. Now Reaper have shown us that they can make houses. I mean, we are desperate for houses for our Reaper Miniatures. So if Reaper, if you watch this, please make some houses lots of lovely houses because we want all our villages and towns we want all our minis to have little houses to live in so reaper take note we want our houses okay so i hope you enjoyed this i will now show you what's for next week next week's paint is king cobra another bones black reaper miniature this is the retail box version and I will be doing the unboxing and painting next week. Now, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All links are below the video. You can become my patron for, li for as little as $1 a month. And believe me, it really helps. It pays for my paint, my paintbrushes, and keeps the channel alive. I do not want to add any advertisements to the actual YouTube channel because nobody wants to see habits all the way through a video. No thank you. So, until next time. Okay, you can all go now, please. Leave me alone!